Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for tonight's main event. 12 rounds of featherweight action. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. Mr. Showtime's on his way to take this tough challenge inside the ropes, but not much focus and passion in these final moments leading the way here. Thass is making his way to the ring right now, puffing out his chest, glaring with those eyes, and taking a big stride to his destination of glory. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Well, they're scheduled to go to full 12 here tonight. Round one now underway. A well-placed left hand up top. Not much action as he just ties up. Solid left hand to the head. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Fast, his blocking ability is doing well for him there. He got hit, but he sends it right back. He just missed that shot up top. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. <clears throat> Halfway through round number one. after getting tagged like that. <laughs> Accurate with a straight left. <laughs> Boom, left hand comes home. Solid right by Mr. Showtime. Stunned, but all of a sudden now, surviving. Flush right hand to the head. <laughs> 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 
as we come to the end of the round. Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, that's one of those rounds where I wonder what were the judges looking for because it's tough to kind of draw a line between those two fighters. Yeah, very close, but one of those rounds where you could steal it. You did a little bit more in those last 30, 20 seconds. Maybe that's the impression the judges are left with. Jab your way, okay? Whatever you do, throw that jab. Watch the water in the corner. Come on. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right. That was a left hand that came raining in on him. He does not look good right now. Expect him to clinch. Little head knocking with that right hand. and he is hurt. He is stunned, but somehow manages to have the wherewithal to hold on. Committing now to the left hand. Good straight shot. Hits him in the mug with the right. Scores with that left to the body. Good flush shot upstairs. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. After being rocked, now he gets his man. At this point, it's not about the skills and the abilities of these two fighters. It's about the dreams of them. And one of them is being eliminated. Unable to score with the hook. To the head he goes with a left hand. Oh, what an exchange! Good power punch, the right hand landed. Stay with him! Stay with him! He saw the uppercut, he took advantage, throwing it out there. That's is just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. That's the kind of round that tells you all you need to know about what kind of fight this is. Back and forth action, both guys hurt. That's the kind of round that you better make sure that you did all your work in the gym, that you're in shape, because more to come. Relax, relax, you're okay, you're okay. Keep your hands up. Keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands. All the eyes are on him to start this round. Bass, his legs look just a little shaky, but keep in mind, he barely survived that last round. No, but keep one other thing in mind. I agree with you, Joe, but he's been here before. He's very experienced. If anyone knows how to get out of this, he does. Back to the body. You're not focusing. A target on his head, and he places the hook right on it. Got this one. Oh. oh, he just misses with that headshot. Okay. How about that left right there? Lynch. Double up on your punch. 
He's in bad shape. Maybe a punch or two more, and he's on the canvas. Teddy, what does he need to think about now? Well, one of the things that he can't think about, he'd love to run away. <laughs> he'd love to get away from what's hurting him. His legs are not solid enough, so he's going to have to find a way to tie up. Big right hand there. Good job. Go get him now. Covers up nicely, yeah. gets rid of his opponent's Finish body shot. Yeah. That's it, just like that. Body shot. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Able to cover up that gut. Mr. Showtime's just looking to get it done on the back end here, Teddy. Yeah, he is. He's just waiting to set a trap. You know, he's trying to get his opponent to walk in where he can make a miss and bang, spring it on him. That is swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. He's tight. He's tight. <laughs> And just grabbing on to his opponent. An accurate left by Fast. Targeting the uppercut, and it worked. And Mr. Showtime's smacked by a left hand. Get out there. Left to the Go. body. Boy, I know he's not in great shape, but all of a sudden he's doing a very good job of defending himself. You know, it's a funny thing. He's fighting on instincts, and sometimes that's a good thing. You don't want to get hurt to get there, but you want to get there. Right now he's doing things without thinking, naturally. Relax. Relax. Are you all right? I need you to keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Don't worry now, all right? I just I need you to focus. Keep... keep your hands up, all right? You have to keep your hands up. You got to give me the double jab. You're not giving me the double jab. You're only giving me one jab at a time. Start of round number four as we look at Teddy's scorecard. I think this is pretty much what we expected. We thought it would be a good, fair, competitive, balanced fight, and it's even so far. No, not much to separate the two fighters. Right now, both of them working on the outside using the jab. I think it's going to come down to does one guy decide to have a more educated jab? Maybe hook off it, do something a little bit more with that jab. Good flush, straight. Just ate a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. Nice block by Fast. Block! Block! His punch didn't come close. Keep it going. Little head hunting with the left. Head and body, head and body. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. Exchange there. He missed with that headshot. Keep 
He moves. He moves. Fine work with the left hand. He landed well by Mr. Showtime. Relax. And he ties up on the inside. Defense just covering up down low. That's what I want. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. And that's the end of round four. Fast okay. is corner Good has to come up with a game plan now. They need to advise their fighter as to how he can get away of that good old-fashioned one-two. No, what they have to do is tell their fighter that, hey, it's not against the law to move your head. Okay, breathe now. Deep breath, deep breath. Holy shit, you are in control of this fight, man. Don't get careless out there, right? Just just keep boxing smart. All night long. This is your fight. Start of a fresh round, but I'll tell you this, Teddy. I don't know that we're going to see the end of this round, the way he was damaged. No, I would be surprised. I don't know that he can continue or that the referee would allow him to. That's a fierce left hand that landed by Mr. Showtime. Fass is just not throwing many jabs here tonight, Teddy. I know that really bothers you. You like a guy that commits to the jab, don't you? Well, that's boxing 101. I mean, that's the fundamentals. And it has so many areas where it serves you. I mean, it sets up your punches. It sets up your offense. But it controls your defense. Keeps a guy at a certain distance. Gives the guy something to think about. Just the most basic thing in the world. Work with the left hand by Mr. Showtime. Nice! Comes with the right. Tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. That could set up things to come there, that jab by Mr. Showtime. Mr. Showtime's given us a good showcase of defense here tonight, especially up top. His head movement is just sublime. And his opponent's cooperating with him a little bit because he's getting frustrated. He's looking for that big shot. And he's continuing to miss, he's making no adjustments. A guy's moving his head. You know what you want to do a little bit? What's that? Well, you want to feign him a little bit. Make him make a premature move. And then when he moves to either side, then you time him with a punch. Don't just go out there flailing away. Oh, what a whiff by Fast. Fast stunned and staggered. Solid. And he is hurt by that uppercut. He is down on the floor. But he's going to continue on, beating the count. And the round comes to an end.
in between rounds here. Thad, his eye is completely swollen shut. What would you be telling him? Well, this is going to sound a little tiny harsh, but guess what? This is a tough business. I tell him, you have two eyes, right? Use the good one. Jerkley, Jerkley, don't stand in front of him. I want you to bang the head and the body, all right? Here we go. I wonder if those 60 seconds were enough, Teddy. He was knocked down in that last round. Now he's right back out there. That 60 seconds has been enough for fighters in his position before. This sport's been around way over 100 years. It's up to him to do the things he needs to do early on in this round. Good step back, counter punch. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, that's gotta hurt. And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? The fight is over. Fast's a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count. Mr. Showtime's your winner by nine.